I'm Bishop Joseph Tolton, and welcome to this IC Justice TV News Bulletin. In the eastern part of the Democratic Republic of the Congo, rebels are at it again. They've now kidnapped three people and the fighting continues. The fighting in that part of the country, of course, is over the rebels' desire to secure portions of the country where they can further exploit the land for purposes of extracting minerals for profit. The most egregious rebels, of course, are the Allied Democratic Forces, otherwise known as the ADF. Across the continent, in Western Africa, in Ghana, several thousand protesters have marched over the last few days throughout Accra under the slogan, hashtag fix the country. Dressed in red and black and chanting patriotic songs, protesters wave placards declaring corruption breeds poverty and fix our education system. At home here in the United States of America, freshman Congresswoman Cori Bush has captured national attention for her, prof for her very high profile activism as she has over the last couple of days slept on the steps of the US Capitol. Yes, that's right. She has slept on the steps of the US Capitol in order to bring attention to the fact that the moratorium over evictions due to COVID was about to expire. Her work has been successful. On Tuesday, the Biden administration announced a 60-day eviction ban, specifically in areas that have high COVID infections. In Haiti, there is good news. After the horrific assassination of former President Jovenel Mose, the country received its first batches of COVID-19 vaccinations. Of course, the big question now is whether the Haitian people can overcome their political instability and high levels of distrust among the general public to actually get people uh, vaccinated. Also in Haiti, according to the New York Times, there is consternation among Haitian officials as well as many Haitians who are involved in civil society, as many believe that the over 40 people who have thus far been arrested in connection to the assassination of President Jovenel Mose are in fact not particularly capable of having mobilized the resources as well as the personnel to actually execute that assassination. The investigation remains uh, under a cloud, and it is our hope that the Haitian people and the world actually see that justice is done. Rebels on the loose in Congo fighting for resources, protesters in Ghana demanding that the nation be fixed, particularly its education system, convincing Haitians to take the vaccine, and hoping that, in fact, the investigation of the assassination of President Jovenel Mose is in fact done with some integrity. These are some of the headlines affecting people of African descent all over the world. The common thread between all of these issues is that the solution is for populist Pan-African movement building to see its way across the continent and then throughout the diaspora. How do we fix these issues? We fix them by sharing lessons learned, sharing best practices. We fix them by sharing the intellectual capital of our civic leaders, of our business leaders, of our media professionals, of our civil society advocates. We can fix the problems that are facing people of African descent globally. How do we do it? We do it together. Join us on August the 14th for our grand celebration of the life of the Honorable Marcus Mosiah Garvey. We will also honor the lives of the women who influence his thinking, in particular his wife, Amy Ashwood. August the 14th at 9 a.m. Join us as ICJ continues to celebrate the life of the Honorable Marcus Mosiah Garvey from August the 2nd through August the 14th. Be with us. Be strong. The ancestors continue to walk with us. Mother God is always there to heal us when we cry. It shall be well. I'm Bishop Joseph Tolton. This is IC Justice TV. Log on to icjustice.org. Join our Pan-African community. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter and on Instagram. View us on YouTube.